Hello, my wildlings, and welcome back to Turnabout for All. I apologise for it being such a long time since, well, since I posted any videos whatsoever. Honestly, I've work has been ridiculous. Like, doing sometimes up to 15-hour shifts, often. And when you're doing that kind of work for that amount of time, when you finally do get a day off, you're just too exhausted to do anything, so... I end up just sleeping through most of the day, and then that last part of the day I just have to do all the things that normal people have to do, like eat and wash my clothes. Really, the this first quarter is ridiculously busy. But I've got some time off now, so here I am, actually trying to record something. On my new laptop, which is nice, it's a, it is a very nice laptop, I very much like it. I've been trying to work it out, slightly different setup than what I usually do, so it might sound a little different, it might look a little different, I don't know, it might be the exact same, you might not notice, but just a heads up in case you do. Um, other than that, I'm doing okay, now that I've had a, f a couple days off, I've managed to sleep, I've had time to actually set things up and do some recording, because... Not recording or editing anything, not having the time to do it, it's... Uh, it's not been fun. I've really missed it. And I'm glad to be back doing it. Because I like doing this. It's actually something I enjoy. So anyway, what were we doing last time? Oh yes, we had a word with uh, Mr. Ramsey, I think he was. Ramses? Ram Ramses, Ramses. I was told in the comments how it's pronounced and I've forgotten I could go back and check but I am too lazy and I apologize anyway um what was I going to do next no one here to talk to I could talk to myself I do it a lot it's about all I do really isn't it um no no that's fine let's move to the detention center I suppose oh loud loud sounds loud music turn that down yeah, that'll that'll do. Again, new setup, getting used to it. Don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> hey, Judy, how you doing? You look awfully chipper for someone in prison, but uh, I would expect nothing less from you, I suppose. I suppose back to the HQ. Hey, ZPD building, August twenty sixth, one thirty seven p.m. Uh, if Moose if Moose Bridge is still here. He's lost in the crowd somewhere. I swear, even more reporters have shown up since I was here earlier. Oh, Edgeworth, hello. Edgeworth! Are you alright? No, miss... Of course I'm fine, Mr. Wright. This grimace is just my usual greeting for you. Well, that I was aware of. I was being sarcastic, Wright. But that really is the usual greeting you give me fair point. Hmm. Our agency-backed prosecutor is making investigating difficult, but I shan't give in to the likes of him. Those who divert the truth have no place among the prosecutor's office. So you really think Jack Savage will try to hide the truth if it hurts his case? That is the vibe the man gives me. But the investigation is still young, and I may be proven wrong. I hope you will be. Unfortunately, I don't think you will be. Mm, but I doubt it. Me too, uh, <coughs> Edgeworth. Me too. Wonderful. I noticed they brought somebody into the detention centre. Yeah. I explained to Edgeworth what had happened with... Doug Ramses. Ramses? Ramses? I'm going to do both every time, just to be really annoying. And then it's going to turn out it's some third one that I don't know. <laughs> hmm, I see. Is it, it is most curious. Perhaps more investigation into Mr. Ramses Ramses would, could provide an insight into both the case and Savage. Yeah, he's still about the only lead we got. I fear he will be in questioning until late hours. 
The trial is not due for several more days. I suggest we continue the search tomorrow. A thorough investigation of Mr. Ramsey's Ramsey's movements recently should be conducted. Yeah, all right. Sounds good. I could do with a nap. Let's hope we find something more than Mr. Ramsey's Ramsey's word alone. Hmm. Yes, let's hope so. Otherwise, we're not going to get very far, are we? Then again, I've... Oh, that I didn't realize this was skipping. And the very next day, I missed the last bit. I'm sorry. Things would only get all the worse. Oh, great. Great. Oops. So glad to hear it. Ugh. Nick and Judy's apartment, August 27th, 10 a.m. Oh, I'm so glad it's all going to be worse. Ugh. Here we go again. I hope you slept well, because you're going to need it. Sometimes I could, I just, I, ah, bleh. Sometimes I wish I could just sleep a little longer. I hear you, man. I mean, I haven't been getting much sleep recently. Like, I had one shift that was twelve hours. Got home at like three, four in the morning. Had to get up again at nine. It was ridiculous. I was so tired. I've been so tired. <laughs> Wipe that. <clears throat> Wipe that tired expression from your face, right? The truth won't wait for you to take a power nap. I wasn't going to. I totally was. Good. Allow it to stay that way. Since when did I take orders from you? Well, I hope you turned something up today. I've still got work, unfortunately. I'm still, I'm still surprised they're letting you on the case. Uh, you and me both, Spike. Just make sure you save her, all right? You can't even imagine how much JD, Ju, JD, Judy has changed my life. I'm still tired. Honest. <laughs> That's all it is. He said Judy instead of carrots. He must be serious. But either way, I'll see what I can do on my end. We shall do the same. We should start with Doug Ramses Ramses get some answers to why Agent Savage thinks he's involved. You still don't believe he is, correct? He told me so, and it wasn't a lie. Very well. Then allow us to begin our investigation post-haste. Well, there's no time to waste. There's always time to waste, it's just whether you should waste it or not. Time is a funny thing to waste. Like... Wasting weeks and weeks on end, doing next to nothing but work. Barely getting the time to sleep and eat between shifts, and just exhausted. So exhausted. <clears throat> but enough about my depressing life. Oh god, I, I was watching Steven Universe recently. And it, it was that episode, I, I don't know if you've seen it, but I enjoy it. You might enjoy it, you might not, but still. I was watching an episode with um, where uh, Stephen and some of his friends had started a band and they couldn't work out what sound they wanted. They went over to the character Sadie's house and uh, ended up coming up with this whole song about just being exhausted. Like, And God, it spoke to me. <laughs> That's really worrying just how accurate that song felt to me. Uh, if you don't know it, uh, look up uh, The Working Dead. Or, I'll put a little eye icon in the top right-hand corner of the screen. You'll see a link there. But God, that song at that time, it, it spoke to me. Uh, which is so depressing. <laughs> a bit like crushing cans. Get it? Because it's so depressing. <laughs> uh, sorry. <clears throat> Moving on. To the detention center! Away! ZPD detention center, August 27th. Hmm. Huh? What do you look so irritated for? Then again, isn't that your natural state? That's what I said earlier. Well, words to that effect. I think I waffled on for a bit more. I'm good at waffling on. Maybe it's because I like waffles. Mmm. Waffles. Anyway. Mm, yes. Mm, this is no time for jokes, right? 
It appears we cannot yet question Mr. Ramses Ramses. He's still being questioned by Mr. Savage. Still? Tell me they haven't been going all night. So where does that leave us? Quite simply, we must come back later. But what do we do in the meantime? That guy is our only lead right now. May I be able to assist in that regard? Oh, it's Bogo. Sorry. <clears throat> Chief Bogo, your voice sounded so weird then. I'm putting on a disguise. That way no one will know it's me when they hear me talk. But we can still see it's you. Oh, right. Never mind then. As you were. Mr. Ro Mr. Edgeworth. You mentioned that you could be of assistance to us. Jeez, Edgeworth looks really worried. That's right. <clears throat> I suppose I'd better ask him some questions then. Yes, like... Assistance how? So what exactly are you suggesting? During the interrogation, Savage managed to pry the location of Mr. Ramses Ramsey's hideout from him. His hideout? Yes. Somewhat embarrassing for us, considering it's on the same line as his previous one. Ah, that is embarrassing. Line? As in a train line? Have the ZPD secured the scene as of yet? Not yet, but a dispatch is being prepared. You can get there and find evidence before the ZPD. At Savage's behest, potentially disturb the scene. Thanks, Chief. This might be the break we've been searching for. I hope it is, Mr. Wright. He's set up, he's set up in an abandoned underground railway, owned by the Zootopia Transit Authority. The ZTA. Yeah, it has a nice ring to it. <clears throat> I can give you specific directions to the exact station. Your assistance here is most appreciated even if it is under the nose of the prosecutor in charge. You earn my respect as a prosecutor, Mr. Edgeworth. Jack Savage is not. Oh, we'd better not waste this chance. I mean, but first, I'd, I'd like to ask more questions, like, trouble? What trouble? I was unaware of any extra trouble. I mean, I know there's a lot of trouble going on, but more trouble? What now? What? What is... The... Oh, God. What has the judge done this time? He's not trying to take selfies at the top of the tallest tower again, is he? And again, he has that whole th gliding thing. I really must ask him how that works, because I want one. Uh, I wouldn't bother, right. The last time I asked him, he said it was to do with his beard powers. Oh, the beard. Yes, the beard. <sighs> Couldn't you get in some serious trouble for helping us out like this? I mean, I don't think Savage will take too kindly to it. Who said he has to know? You are risking a lot to leak information to the defence. Normally I would highly disapprove of such actions, but in this case... But might I ask why you're willing to take such a risk? Because Prosecutor Savage has used his connections to all but take over the whole damn precinct. I'm not about to be bossed around by that bunny. I mean, if he was nice enough, said please every once in a while, maybe. But no, he's a jerk. You know what? He even took the last tater tots. I was waiting all day for those. The bastard. So, you've gone full rebel, huh? Not how I would put it. I don't trust him, and I don't think he's letting us do our jobs to the best of our abilities. He has complete control to the highest degree, and I don't like it. I don't blame you. That, and I believe in Hops' innocence. But I was just as surprised as anyone else when she was arrested. And you couldn't stop him? No, it was beyond my power. It, it makes no sense. None of this case does. And right now, you two are among those few I can trust completely. Worry not. We shall see the truth brought to light. 
Well, I hope so. Yeah, you and me both. So, about Doug, whose name I want, whose last name I will not pronounce right now. Were they interrogating him all night long? Yes, Savage has been grilling him hard. Judy's fared, a li- fared little better, but at least she's spent far less time in there than Ramses- Ramses has. Why is he more interested in an apparent co-conspirator rather than the main suspect? Unless he's trying to keep him around, pay him off to take the fall. Maybe? I don't know. Or maybe he's trying to convince him that he's going to pay him off and do the sort of whole thing of being like, hey, I, he, he said all the stuff that we needed, so we'll give him a lenient sentence. A pardon or something? Sorry, my brain's working faster than my mouth can. <clears throat> Which is the usual case for me, unfortunately. Not that anything my brain is thinking is ever important. It's just nonsense and waffle. But it's faster than my mouth is. Anyway, do you know how long he'll be in there? He'll be done when he's done. But with the way they've been going, it surely cannot be too much longer. Good, because I really need to speak to him. Okay then, let's go take a look at his... Oh, did not mean to do that. Let's go take a look at his place of living. I guess Savannah Central is the place to go. Always 26th, 7th, not 6th. Ha, numbers. I've always failed with numbers. A normal day, a normal life. I envy them sometimes. I can't say I do. I chose to walk the path of a prosecutor, and it's a path I walk with dignity. Uh, by chose, do you mean manipulated by your father's murderer? Oh, oh, that's dark, Phoenix. You better not say that out loud. Jesus, that is vicious. By the way, we must press onwards. Jesus, that is ferocious. If you had said that out loud, I wouldn't have been surprised if he would have killed you with a stare. I mean, I'm pretty sure he could. Or he'd kill you with his ascot. Or whatever the hell the fluffy thing is around his neck. I don't know what it's actually supposed to be called. His ruffles. I'm calling them ruffles now because that amuses me. And I like the idea of Miles Edgeworth and his ruffles. (laughs) Why does that amuse me, sir? And now I'm imagining him with a tiny little adorable fluffy dog called Ruffles. Oh, you're so cute. Anyway, (laughs) abandoned station. Oh yes, I I recognise this from a film. Uh, This is the place Chief Bogo directed us to. Mm, It looks heavily disused. Hence why it's an abandoned station. People must walk by this entrance, and many just like it without giving so much as a passing glance. I can see why Mr. Ramses Ramses chose this place to hide himself. Seems Bogo was on the mark. I can't see the ZPD anywhere. Then let us hurry ourselves. It will not be long before they do indeed arrive. I know. We'd better head inside. That we should. To the station interior. Abandoned train. August 27th. Uh, 11.50am. Hmm. It's even more dilapidated on the inside. You can tell this place doesn't receive many visitors. More aside from one, anyway. That train over there. Perhaps that's Mr. Ramses Ramses' house. Well, I bet the rent's dirt cheap. Budum tish. Mm. Aside from the train car, there's not much else here. Just a bunch of junk by the looks of it. Though I can hear trains echoing down the tunnel. Presumably from other not-so-abandoned stations. We might, We might want to be careful down here. Stay on the inside of the abandoned train. I agree. Still operational trains may pass through here from time to time. One way I do not want to die. Well, I don't particularly... F- I'm not particularly fond of the idea of dying at all, to be honest, whether by train or 
any other method. I mean, if I had to go, I'd, I'd rather it be like peacefully in my sleep, perhaps, or I don't know, something quick. Like, I didn't even know it was coming. I feel like the fear of dying would be the worst part. Unless I die in a really horrible manner, like torn apart slowly by wild dogs, or, I don't know, slowly bled to death as some strange otherworldly creature drinks my blood. I don't know. That might suck. Get it? Because I was basically referencing a vampire, and they suck. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. Try not to look so nervous. No harm shall come to us if we are if we use simple common sense. Mm hmm. You really shouldn't have said that because that never ends well. Mm. If such a thing comes naturally to you, that is. <laughs> I made a funny. I just imagine him like pulling like a little notebook out from beneath his his ruffles. Any excuse to say the word ruffles. Pulling it out from underneath his ruffles and noting down a on his little flip book. Like uh, all the funnies he's made throughout the years. And he's just like two pages in. <laughs> Is now really a time for insults? Either way, we best examine what Mr. Ramses Ramses has left behind before the ZPD's arrival. Our time is short, so let us make the most of it. Hopefully he's left something actually useful. If we want to win the trial, that is. Yes. <coughs> Pardon me. Yes, let's hope so. God damn it, push the wrong button. Two. wait. Do I have to examine here? I guess I could try that. Uh, let's have a look. Well, I guess we'll look at the train. Well, I suppose we'd better head on inside. Off to you, Edgeworth. Why am I going in first? You're the defense attorney assigned to the case, not me. Your scowl will scare off any dangerous creatures inside. Wapa! Just get in the train right. Fine. bit dark. Anyone bring a phone? Flashlight? Something? Uh, Edgeworth, what is all of this? I'm not sure, but nothing good, I'm sure. So you, you're not sure, but you are sure? I mean, you're sure of something. Well, we can only be sure of so many things. I'm not sure I can be sure of anything. But can I be sure of not being sure of anything? Oh god, now I'm confused. But ignore that for a moment. Have you found anything related to the current case? No, have you? I'm afraid not. He did claim he's not involved. Yeah, I should have expected this. But again, what about these little blue flowers? Hmm, little blue flowers. Write whatever you do. Don't touch anything. Edgeworth? You heard me. Now, let's head back out of this train. Now. Well, oh dear. Edgeworth, what was all that about? Right, those blue flowers. I believe I know what they are. Those were night howlers, right? Night howlers? Oh boy. Wait, what? Thus, why I didn't want you to touch anything, given what it can be used for. That is the drug from that case Nick and Judy told us about, right? The one that can drive anyone into a fit of savage violence? Yes, it is. Well, what are they doing here? According to the case file I read, Doug Ramsey's can cut... Ramses Ramses concocted them for Dawn Bellwether. It seems he never truly gave up the plan after Officer Hops and Wilde foiled the arrested Bellwether. He may very well have been planning another attack. But why? Everyone would have known it was the Night Howlers. Revenge, maybe. Who can truly know the insane depths of the criminal mind? The criminal? 
I guess. But then, even then, I imagine there's some criminals who don't quite get it either. Ugh. <laughs> Night Howlers added to the court record. Come on, we better get out of here. Agreed. We got what we came for. Uh, not really, but as much as we could. Yeah, I hope this information helps us. <clears throat> you and me both. Dun, 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 dun. A bad in station. Yes. Uh-oh. Yup, those are definitely police cars parked up here. Hey, hello. Hey, you guys, what are you doing here? I've forgotten the voice I did for him, and I'm sorry. I don't believe there's anything wrong with a midnight, midday stroll, Officer Clawhauser. I think your next salary assessment would agree. Jesus, man, you're not... He's not even... Leave him alone. He's adorable and squidgy and bundle of love and fluff. Leave him alone. Uh, of course, I I'll just uh, see what the others are doing. Wow, that was harsh. Do you realise that guy has ordinarily been on our side, right? Right now, he answers to Mr. Savage. I couldn't take the risk. Besides, he strikes me as someone who, like Detective Gumshoe, has a habit of running his mouth. Leaking information does seem to be the detective's speciality. Uh, oh, it's Officer Wild. I hope you've got my salary's best interest in mind, Edgy. Hey, he's in his little uniform, and he looks adorable and happy. Oh, but I know he's not. Not on the inside. Oh, God, now I'm sad. Again. Damn it. Nick, and back in uniform, too. Yeah, Savage gave me this huge speech about professionalism on the job. Guy's kind of a jerk. Well, you really should be in a uniform on a daily basis. Still, not much I can do about it while Savage is in charge. Even if the people I question will automatically clam up because of this stupid suit. Oh, right, that's why he prefers to stay out of it. It's the only reason I ever allowed it. Bogo too, I'd imagine. Uh, not much we can do about it now. We've got to search this place while I... Which I take it you've already done. Maybe a little. Maybe a little. So, what did you find down there? Yeah, you're not going to like this. Oh boy, he's not. We told him everything that we saw. Especially those flowers. Night howlers. Oh, should have figured he'd try that again. Well, they're evidence now. At least until this case is over. Then they'll likely be disposed of. Oh, I don't trust Savage. Mm, it feels like something he would try to make use of. If he really is this horrible person that I've been setting him up to be. Which he might not be. I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure I'm not at this point. Can't say I'll miss them. Hey, where is Jack Savage anyway? Oh, still back at the precinct. He'll be looking over our soldier's shoulders again in a little while. And now I'm just picturing him with a little, uh, with a little table of little toy soldiers. He's like, "Ah, we're going to war. Why are we going to war? Because predators and prey should not mix." Oh, that's a bit of a dick move, isn't it? But I'm Agent Savage, and I say so. Pew pew. Oh no, I'm dead. Yes, Agent Savage wins. Yay. I don't know. I find that funny. I find that amusing. To see Agent Savage doing that. You'll notice I didn't do the voice for him because <clears throat> I can't be bothered at the moment. <laughs> Unfortunate if he really is that kind of prosecutor. Well, back to it, I guess. Hmm. Yes. Where to move? I mean, I could talk. Well, let's see what else there is to say. So, you pick up anything new? Not a clue. Huh? Savage is keeping the ZPD on a pretty short leash, and all information is need to know. What? Le mm. What? 
use of leashes in this world? I mean... Pets, I guess, but... Like, what do you keep as pets in this world? Do you have pets? Or are leashes just sort of a, a, a kink thing? Which is fine, don't get me wrong, if that's your thing, go for it. Then, whatever, but... I, I'm just curious, really. Not too curious, though, don't give me that look. Just a little curious. Just not that kind of curious. Just never mind. Forget I said anything. And we, it seems, don't need to know. Oh, I really hate that guy. Yeah, you and me both. Uh, but Pogo did say something to that effect, too. So he might be trying to distort the truth, huh? I imagine keeping the ZPD all informed would certainly help with that. Oh, here we go again. Well, I mean, other than the fact you hate him, what else can you tell me about the guy? So, Savage is back at the precinct. Yeah, doing some prosecutor-based stuff, I'm sure. Though, he'll be over here shortly. He won't leave us alone for too long. Of course he won't. Still, if you want to delay him with your questioning, you may yet catch him over there. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Maybe you could ask him what he was smoking when he accused Judy. I even said to him she couldn't be the culprit, but he silenced me pretty quickly. I mean, Judy was with me when the train derail derailed for one thing. Nick's testimony added to the court record. Yeah, that is pretty strange. How does he intend to dispute that, I wonder? Ah, uh, a very good question indeed. Uh, does it have anything to do with Mr. Ramses Ramses? It very possibly could. But I suppose we'll dig a little deeper into that mystery in the next episode. And I'll see you all then. Bye-bye. <laughs>